Hey guys, it's Jason from Overhype Studios and today we will showcase the new Nintendo Switch build of Battle Brothers that is going to be available from the 11th of March. You will see that um, all the images and all the menus and everything are very similar to the base game and this way you will get really close to the original experience of Battle Brothers but you can play on the go when you're traveling and also use the switch in the secondary mode with the screen uh, while you're at home. So um, there was a lot of, uh, of thought going into the actual um, design of the controls because that uh, of course being a keyboard and mouse game Battle Brothers is um, rather hard to port to something like the switch but um, Ukiyo Publishing did an amazing job with this and um, I personally feel that it plays very well on the Switch and sometimes uh, it is even faster and easier than on the PC to control it. So let's start out with a new campaign. Let's pick just a new company. Let's go to the options. Here you can see in the, um, in the menu that you have different uh, icons for the buttons. For example, you can quickly switch between the selected banners um, that you want to pick and um, stuff like that is all over the place where you where you will be able to see instantaneously what buttons you will have to use so it's very easy to get into and um, very easy to understand uh, so you don't have, you feel right at home when you have played Battle Brothers on the, on the PC let's advance we are gonna keep the, um, the easy difficulties so when you are starting um, starting a new game uh, you can also activate the DLCs and all the DLCs are of course available on the switch from day one so you do, you're not missing out on any content that the uh, regular PC game has as you can see the texts um, are scrollable as well just with a button and so all the menus have been reworked some will work with the um, with a pointer and sometimes you will just use the um, the arrows and the keys to get around and uh, here you go so you can zoom out of course zoom in it's it's very fluent uh, on the on the lower right you have the tooltips that you can see um, where you actually uh, what button does what and you can just quickly advance time like so and pause it and um, this way you can get back into the um, into the action so let's head over to the next town just like so and here are all the buildings that you know from the base game so this will be sort of a a low powered let's play i won't focus too much on the um, on all the controls because they are very intuitive and they're very easy to learn. So I will focus on the, on the gameplay a bit more. Many of you already know what's happening. And um, so here you can quickly buy with the, with the top left button. You can quickly buy uh, things and it will place them directly into your, into your, um, into your stash. So um, if you hear some button clickings, I'm sorry, but I'm holding the, con the controller really close to the mic. I hope that's not big of an issue. Let's go here. Let's have a look if we can hire some new mercenaries. Here we go. Let's get some cheap ones. I really like to get the beggars in the, in the beginning and um, no need to, for trying them out. What else do we have here? Okay, we have some two caravan guards. Those are always, always a good hire. Like this guy, for example. And we take you as well. Now we have seven, we have seven people in the in the troop, which is quite a lot. And um, let's see that we can get some, some um, equipment for them. So now you see that you have a pointer that you can move around uh, with the stick. But you can also, to get to the roster, you can move your 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 pointer over it and uh, click it. But you can just press press the minus button, and then you get there really fast, quick, and easy. So left button again to just shoot over the equipment. 
You of course you can drag and drop the characters into the position that you want them. So we are moving um, we are moving our archer into the back line of course. Having our front line over here, we will need definitely need some more weapons for those guys. Oh, he has a three-star talent and fatigue and two stars and hit points. That's quite amazing. I don't want this guy to die. So there you go. Put a little helmet. Okay, what else do we need? Um, let's head back. We need some more shields, especially shields. Uh, there's just one here. I think I will get that. And um, another spear, maybe just a two-handed weapon for the back line. This one will do fine. Let's quickly check our equipment. Here we go. Well, this guy's guy has also very good talent. Well done. Let's use this from the back line. Now, it would be really helpful to get at least one more shield, two more shields. And... Um, yeah, let's let's have a quick look if we if we can find some shields. So here's the marketplace. Let's leave that one. Now uh, let's head back. Back to the city. Here we go. I think we're gonna leave the town and um, and have a look into into another town. There's no there are no contracts here anyways. So let's head over to the to the next city. That's just a small that's um that's a castle over here. So castles in the beginning do not offer jobs and um, or contracts and uh, but we still can have a look if there's somebody to hire some cheap folks or if we can grab some shields. Let's have a quick look in the marketplace. Scroll down and there are the two shields that we need. Like so, and so, here we go. Let's head back, leave the city. And we're gonna head out to the next city over here. So that's that's a small city and um, I suppose that we will find a job there. Well, at least I hope so. Where's the character? Hey, there, they're coming. Now let's uh, try the brigands. Maybe I want to fight them. No, there's seven of them. And also it's getting dark. I don't want to fight in the dark. Let's head over here. Speed things up a little bit. Also, I don't want to, f to fight in the swamp, actually. And there are some contracts. Now, let's have a look. We should go to the cemetery and, um, and end some grave robbers. This sounds like a good job to take on as a first contract. Secure the hidden burial site. You can see here that the villagers are terrified and This is a good instance to see that all the tooltips are still in place. So whenever you are hovering over something You will get all the information that you need. Let's hand out these shields Like so and we are just needing one more piece of headgear Give This to you and you will go with this. And now we're all set. Now let's head back to the city. Leave, pause the game and have a look. Where is this cemetery? It's over there. And we can slowly go there. Speed things up a little bit. There are a lot of footprints over here. But no worries. Now we are arriving there in daylight. Let's take them out. Okay, there are the grave robbers and we are going to take them out. Engage. So here we are. Now I can show you the tactical combat. And um, in this works very similar to the to the world map. So you can, you can zoom in, you can zoom out and uh, you can scroll around, you can use the um, uh, the pointer just point at something or and alternatively you can use the um, the left and right arrows to just straight up jump to a key and this is a, a, one of the features that i personally really like because no matter where your pointer is you can just straight up um, 
go down there and um, and have a look so that's very helpful anyways I think we're just gonna wait here and um, gonna wait with all our characters here we go so let's wait for the for the undead to approach us it's only six of them and it's only in, in just regular Wiedergängers and so um, let's not have the these these bars I personally find them a bit intrusive and I don't really need them so here you go and then just use the arrow buttons to to quickly uh, jump between the skills and also you can use the top left and top right buttons to just quickly uh, wait or or skip the turn just like so I think there's no need in putting up a spear wall yet they won't won't make it to me in time so um, yeah there we go and let's wait for them to come I think we can do a spear wall here let's do it like so wait spear wall and wait and just wait you wait too and let's go again for the good old spear wall now the thing with the undead is that they will s charge straight up into the spear wall so there's no need to, to imply any or employ any tactics and, and they will just straight up charge at you now this is a bit unlucky because he's in the back line and cannot attack I could set up a um, spear wall with the um, with this weapon as well just slipped my mind what was it called again the speedum right and I think we're gonna do that there you go because that's a spear wall with the two tire range and let's advance things just wait for them to come just gonna wait 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 and let them come to me and of course we want to shoot let's try and take out this on that here with the uh, with the uh, with the spear because with the spear they are extremely dangerous and wait again okay now it's my turn still gonna wait now they are resetting I didn't time that very well now they're all resetting their spear walls which is very unlucky didn't hit him never mind reload the crossbow and end the turn for this character now this guy doesn't have a weapon so there's not big of not much of a danger and now at least it's working a little bit they're jumping into the spear wall just gonna quickly refresh that and gonna wait so there you go just gonna wait with this guy now they are moving in now down down here we are still holding them holding them, them at bay but this guy definitely has to go attack and now it's time for the for the big X I don't want to do a round swing just gonna focus on the guy with the spear and the turn so we, are, we still have the spear wall up over here and we're just gonna get another one um, activate another one so let's quickly disable the tool tips because it's I, I know the I know all the all the tips already and I don't need to see them all the time. And it also can get a little bit a little bit full in the vision when you're seeing seeing them all the time. Okay, let's tr try and chop off his head. Come on. Now there's no need to be afraid of them biting you because as long as there's a little bit of armor, it's still working. Oh, he's do really doing work with the spear wall. As you can see, the, the Vida gangers are just not thinking about it straight and just charging into combat. And um, and this is what what uh, what's waiting for them. Just getting a getting a spear to the face a thousand times. There you go. And just renew the spear wall. It's an unreliable tactic against the. Um, against the Vida gangers to just stand back and uh, spam those spear walls it actually it can be a bit of a problem in the later stages of the game when you have armored Vida gangers that they, they will charge into them so often um, that they um, 
Yeah, the spears will break at some point and then you got a real problem. Just knock out this guy and wait. Oh, they're still charging into those spears. Looking really good. Um, I think not a single one of our characters has been hit yet, which is absolutely remarkable. Move here, end the turn. Not a good position to shoot from. Can move over here. And before we actually shoot them, I just want to show the quick, quickly that we have all the options and everything, like the combat log, like everything from the PC version, um, the height levels that you can you can activate, the trees that you can um, that you can uh, disable, and then the then the tiles where you can see which tiles are blocked, so you get a red highlight on them. And um, of course, this is the the health bar button you can you can also just use the up arrow for that and you can of course flee the battle and uh, we have a an end all turn button so here yeah, let's try and shoot the final wiedergänger and cash in our reward now here are the statistics you know that everybody did really well we, we received extremely little damage and um Let's take a look at the loot. Just collect that stuff. That's basically nothing, but uh, whatever. We are getting paid for this, and uh, we are not we are not in this in this fight for the loot. So let's head back to Arlen and uh, collect our reward. Now let's go quickly through the swamp. We're still having enough food, doing well over there. As you can see on the top, you also have um, quick access buttons for all the options like camping and everything that you will be using like your second nature in no time. So here's our um, fulfill contract. We are cashing in or getting all the crowns and the villagers are no longer terrified. Well done. Well, um, well deserved crowns, I would say. Now we are going to um, end the episode here. And I hope you liked it. And I also hope you will uh, get Battle Brothers for the Switch version so you can play your favorite tactics game on the go and um, have fun with that. <laughs>